Today, I'm gonna to show you something that's a great advantage when using premium forms on WordPress, and that's how to do inline calculations. We're gonna do all of this without using any JavaScript coding or custom PHP either. You can do all of it with drag and drop controls and a little bit of mathematics. So let's jump on in and I'll show you how we can use Gravity Forms to make a BMI calculator for live calculations on your WordPress website. Okay, before we dive on straight in, I just want you to know that to do this, you do need to have Gravity Forms, which is a premium plugin. You only need the basic license. You can get that in a link below. It's an affiliate link and that helps the channel. I'm using local to run a local installation here, but you can run the installation wherever you like. All I've done is taken Barebones WordPress and installed Gravity Forms to show you how you can do this on your WordPress website. Let's jump on in and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so here we have a default WordPress website. Um, it's just a straight up uh, default 2024 theme. Um, nothing in there yet. So we're gonna embed this form on our sample page and show you how this works. So the first thing I need to do is create a blank form and we're just gonna call that BMI calculator. Okay. Just like that, excellent. So the next thing we need is number fields. So a BMI calculation is really your height squared divided by, so you, and then your weight divided by the square of your height. And that gives you a BMI or a body mass index. That BMI can be used as an indicator for if you are considered obese, overweight, normal, or underweight. So what we need to do is first of all, add a couple of fields and we're gonna use the number field. So we need four fields. First field is height. Second field is weight. Third field is the height square. And the final item is your BMI. Now we're gonna do a bit more with this as we go, but that they're basically the fields that we need. Now with the height, what is that? Well, it's the height in centimeters. So we're gonna say to the user, please enter your height in centimeters. Just like that. We go with the Australian spelling there. Okay, and that's required. Next is the weight, and we want that in kilograms. So please enter your weight in kilograms. Just like that. And that's required as well. Now to clean this up a little bit, we're going to just move that like that. And let's go ahead and put those side by side. Okay, that looks okay. Make them the same sort of size. And it looks about right. Okay, so now we've got the height and the weight. And then we need to enable a calculation. So we've got height like that okay copy that it looks okay and take that out so i find that this little area here can be a little bit sensitive so when i validate that that appears to be valid so my height squared seems to be okay and next up, we want to put the BMI calculation in. So uh, that's going to say enable calculation. And the BMI is going to be the weight over height square. So I put weight like that over, and then we put the height square in, just like that. So you might be wondering, why did I split these apart? Well, the answer is kind of... I'm not really sure why it is, but if I put everything into one calculation, it just wasn't playing nicely for me. So that's why I had to put the height square in. Now I understand that you don't want to show that to the end user and that's quite easy to deal with. So all we're going to do is on the height square is in the uh, general no, advanced. Under the advanced tab, we have this thing called hidden. So I'll just click hidden like that. So now I've got height, weight, and then your BMI. So let's go ahead and save that. And I'm gonna change that just to be visible so that we can see the values. Next up, we're gonna put some default values in. 
just so that the calculation starts immediately. Okay, so now I've got a default value of 180 centimeters, which is close to six foot, and a weight of 80 kilograms. And that will give me a height square and a BMI value. So let's save that and preview the form. And we can see here that all these values look pretty good. So I've got a height of 180, weight 80, my height square is 3.24, my BMI is 24.69. But we don't have to, yeah, I mean, if we look at that, that value of BMI needs to now be equated to something to tell me, is that good? Is that bad? Am I overweight, underweight? Am I obese? Am I considered normal? What are the values? So we need to do a little bit more work here. So let's go ahead and keep working on this. Okay, so next up, I wanna put in a little section. I'm gonna put a section in just here, and we're just gonna call this thing here. We're gonna say it's your result, like that. Okay, next up on the BMI, I wanna do some rounding. I wanna to round to one decimal place, like that. So now I'm gonna end up with a bit better value. Next up, I want to do some HTML blocks because those HTML blocks are going to be revealed to give me a bit more understanding of what my actual result is. So my first HTML block here is going to say your BMI is considered obese. And I'll just say obese inside there. And then we're going to use some conditional logic. And we enable that conditional logic. And what I want to be able to do there is say show if your BMI is greater than 30. So if the BMI is greater than 30, then that's considered obese, all right? So that's the clinical valuation there. I'm gonna save that, that's good. Next up, duplicate that out. Next, we've got overweight. And so overweight there. So next up, we want to decide on the conditional logic for the overweight block. Um, and that means that your BMI is less than 30.1. And your BMI is greater than 25. So if you've got 25.1 all the way up to 30, your BMI is going to be considered overweight. So let's save that. And that's that there. And then we're going to duplicate again. And we've got normal there. And now normal inside the text area. Conditional logic here. Um, so for the normal item, we have another piece of conditional logic. And this says your BMI is less than 25.1 and is greater than 14.9, okay? So if you're less than 25.1, greater than 14.9, that's fair. Let's just double check that overweight one. Yeah, that's right. So if you're over 25, under there, that's good. Then we've got the normal here, which is less than 25.1, greater than 14.9. So if you're between 15 and 25, you're gonna see normal. And then let's duplicate that out again. And we're gonna use underweight for the final one. So that's underweight there, underweight there. And the conditional logic on this particular item is just if it's less than 15. So anything less than 15, is considered underweight, just like that. All right, let's save that form. So now we've got conditional logic items. So all these, they look like they're gonna be stacked up, but they're not going to be. The reason is the calculation will determine what we have. So let's preview this now. And now we can see that we've got something that's a little bit better. So if I put 200 in there, we can see what happens. So I've changed my height to 200 centimeters. If I change my weight to say uh, my height to 195 and put my weight at 100 kilograms, then I'm considered overweight. If I put it at, you know, 150 kilograms, I'm considered obese. If I put it at, you know, 75, 
It's long, 55, I'm underweight. So you can see there that all of that's working really well and we've got that all showing up. Now this height square, we're gonna hide that next because we don't need to show that, all right? That, that, that has no meaning except to us for doing our calculations. And the submit button as well, we could hide that as well if we chose to. We'll leave it for now. So the height square, all I need to do is come into the appearance, I think. Where is that? There we go, under advanced. So we go under the advanced tab, click on hidden, and now the height square is hidden. And there we go. So now I've got height, weight, and your BMI, just like that. So all of that's now calculated and working quite well. So let's go over to a page. We'll go to our sample page. And all I'm gonna do is put in a gravity form. We'll select the BMI calculator, just like that. And we can see all this here. Say update. And then have a view that page. So here we go. So now I've got like the number tickers. You can see as I push those numbers, my BMI value changes straight away. And if I keep going, you know, you see the way that that works. So again, if I put in 195, BMI is considered normal, put in a big weight, considered obese, 140, considered obese, 100, considered overweight, 55, underweight, back to the 80, went normal. So that's how all of that works and that's how calculations work within gravity forms. Well, I hope you liked that tutorial. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more things on gravity forms or you've got specific questions, why don't you leave a comment below right here on YouTube. If you like what you're seeing on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do regular updates about all things WordPress. Well, thanks again for sticking around. I'll see you in the next video.